Hello gorgeous Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. Let's take a look at the cards and the messages Spirit would like to bring through for you. Guidance and messages for Aries please Spirit. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest and be sure to connect in with your own intuition because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Let's take a look at your first card and message. Wow, so we have an Archangel energy around you, Aries, this week. Archangel Michael. And it says on this card, use the sword of truth to help the world. So you're going to be saying some things that others may not like to hear, but it is the truth and you need to say it. There is this beautiful Archangel energy around you. So you are fully protected in saying what you need to say and going ahead and doing what you need to do this week, Aries. A beautiful energy that surrounds you. A lovely card to begin your reading. Let's take a look at your next card. This one here is yours and we have Light the Darkness ancestors ancestral line and generational shift this is a big one aries this is a big energy so when the ancestor energy comes up in the generational shift it means that you're in the process or about to break a cycle that has been destructive that has been negative that has been a pattern for your ancestors and coming through your bloodline and so whatever it is that you're doing at the moment to break this cycle and you will know what's what spirits talking about here you'll know what this is in your life if it resonates this card confirms that you're about to do that you're about to move into a new cycle of abundance you are moving into a new golden energy for you and with this comes a windfall of abundance for you in your life because you are breaking the patterns there's a shift that's happening now and you're going to be cut off and moving forward from the energies the ancestral energies that have held you back and they're going to be different for everybody of course what these things are but this energy is so profound so profound Aries so you're going to find over the next week that you're going to be having some deep insights into how exactly this is happening if you're not so sure I do get a sense that quite a lot you're going to know exactly what this is but I'm also being encouraged to say that there is an energy here that you might not be completely aware of or might be under the surface a little bit. Well, if that's you, Spirit is talking to you now, you're going to understand how the changes are going to take place, what changes are going to take place and, and the outcome of that for you and the breaking of the negative patterns and the ancestral line that's been um, following you. So this is extremely powerful. I really love this energy for you. It is such a breakthrough energy right now. And often when this energy comes up, it can mean that there is reflections on your past, reflections on your family, reflections on circumstances that have affected you up to this point. Some things that may have happened when you were younger and they're coming up, they're coming to mind because you are just about to break through this cycle. You're going to have these chain, chains taken away from you. So that is incredibly powerful, beautiful energy actually. Okay, let's take a look at this deck of cards here. Please spirit for Aries for the week ahead. This one here is yours, Aries. Something you love may be coming to an end and it's only natural for you to be saddened. However, this ending also provides a new beginning. All unfolds for your highest good. 
Life is full of transformation, and with a new beginning comes a new chapter in the story that is you. So the highest good is playing out in your life, Aries. It is going to unfold in this fashion. Something is coming to an end. It may be this energy here that we were just discussing, the energy of the ancestral lines, patterns that need to be broken. There can be some sadness around that perhaps because of some memories or some reflections or it might be another thing here to do with this. But whatever this ending is, it might be something completely different for you. Spirit will be speaking to your heart right now. There's an ending happening and it's okay if you're saddened. However, the outlook must be on the new beginning that is going to be allowed to come through to you because of this ending. There's a transformational shift that's happening here. So you're able to begin something new, a new chapter in your life, a new chapter in the story that is you. So, wow. Okay. Really big and powerful energy is coming through this week for you, Aries. Okay, let's take a look at this card here. It's just come out a little bit. So I feel this one is yours. We have the card of dream or dreaming, connect with self and spirit. Believe in the power of your dreams and guidance and direction. When this card comes up, it does mean that it's important to take notice of your dreams. You're going to be receiving messages from spirit in your dreams and uh, you're going to understand the symbology of your dreams and there's a message there. Connecting with self and that means taking time out for you to be able to do that, whether it's meditation or prayer or another, another way that you connect in. Connecting into self and to spirit is going to bring through direct messages and guidance from spirit. And you do have this beautiful Archangel Michael energy of protection throughout the whole week. So I feel this leads to protection in your dream state and an Archangel energy may actually be bringing through some guidance as well. Wow, very powerful energy here for you, Aries. Guidance for Aries with this deck of cards. Okay. So we have the reversed eight of swords. And it says on this card, you are drowning in detail. So if that is you, Aries, take a step back. Take a step back because you are drowning in the details and it's not helpful for your mental state. Your view of the big picture is obscured by something. So trying to get that higher perspective is important this week. There may be too many choices. So trust your instincts and trust your gut if you have any choices to make. There may be a lack of clarity and direction. And if that's the case for you, just take a step back and try not to force things. The right time will come and you will be able to make this choice and clarity will be there. Develop a strategy and stick to it. So if you are planning something, planning for something either this week or in your future, um, then develop this strategy and plan and follow it through. Research carefully. Make sure that you don't overlook anything this week. Radically new ideas are needed. So a shift in ideas, a shift in perception, a shift um, in what you were doing is needed. New beginnings are possible and that did come up with this card here. New beginnings, a new chapter in your life is just about to unfold. So that is confirming that message with this card as well. So new beginnings are possible. Plan carefully and execute the plan. So this might be something that you're doing over a longer period of time. You might have you might have a plan or a goal in mind with a relationship perhaps or it might be in your work life. You'll know what area of life spirit is talking about here for you. So this area of life I feel that it's 
for the longer term. And so it's important to plan carefully. Spirit's saying important to plan right now and then to follow through with this plan, to execute the plan, to stick to this plan and follow it through to completion and you're going to attain your goals. Okay, let's take a look at your next card here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Now this knight, this may be a male under 40 that you know. There is an energy of working hard. The energy of, of being focused on the tasks that need to be done this week, whether you're going to enjoy them or not. You're focused on them and you're just going to get them done. His job is the center of his life. So this energy as your energy, you might be feeling that your job is taking up a lot of your time. Okay, so you might be feeling your job or your work or the work at hand that you have on your mind that you want to do this week is going to take up a lot of time. Financially successful. So you will have your finances balanced and be quite successful. That's coming up for you. There's an energy of being patient and extremely focused is important. Traditional values of hard work and public service. And there's an ethical energy here as well and conservative energy. Realistic and down to earth energy is going to follow you this week follows through and keeps to his word. If this is another person, this person is going to follow through and keep to their word. But as your energy this week, Aries, you're going to follow through, you're going to keep to your word. And there is an underestimated by most people. So someone may be underestimating you and you'll know if that resonates for you. Let's take a look at your next card. We have another night energy. And this is the Knight of Cups, and this may be a male under 40, as this, the same as the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this Knight is more romantic and has a calm nature, makes decisions with his heart. If this is your energy, I feel that these energies may be, um, it may be a water sign around you, or it may be an earth sign around you, Aries. But these characteristics are coming up for you this week. So you're going to be making decisions with your heart. You're going to be thinking carefully before acting and speaking. And you're going to be sensitive to others and well-educated, idealistic, persuasive those keywords may be coming up here for you and resonate possible invitation or pro or proposition uh, in love he is considerate and considerate and generous so yes there's maybe an offer of love coming toward you or an offer of something that you really love um, and it's a generous offer it does feel like it is part of this beautiful windfall of abundance going to pour down upon you this week or sometime very soon in the future Aries so that's really lovely it's going to touch your heart and your next card is the ace of wands reversed now I feel you have to be careful of this you have to be careful that you do not exhaust your yourself this week or um, have low energy you've got to check your energy levels you may be feeling lethargy and mental dullness, so you've got to make you've got to check that energy, make sure it's balanced. You are over involved and need to choose between too many commitments. So we had that message before. We had that message here. Too many choices with the eight of swords. So too many commitments, too many choices. You might have to narrow things down a little bit this week, Aries. Narrow things down, focus on just a few key areas of life or things that you want to get done and focus on those things. There may be a loss of enthusiasm and interest in the very things that have always made you happy. Material success doesn't make you happy. And we do have um, emotional happiness here coming through for you this week rather than material things. And your final card is the Empress, the beautiful energy here of the Empress, which is 
the mother archetype here, loving relationship between mother and child. Um, you may be having contact with your mother. You may be a mother and in that energy this week. The Empress also signifies creativity, personal growth and self-development. So you might find that this week there is a definite energy directed towards self-development and that would certainly be the case if this energy of the ancestral line generational shift this energy is working in your life success brings freedom material comfort security and protection well you have archangel michael here for protection and you will be feeling material comfort and security this week which is lovely Wealth may separate you from your roots and sense of self. So be careful of that. You spend too much time indoors, so get out more if that is at all possible for you, Aries. Sexual pleasure, fertility as well is around you. Excellent physical condition and health, which is great because we did have that energy here of being low energy. So spirit is saying perhaps this is just a temporary thing if you feel it. And for the longer term, you're going to be in robust health, which is good to see. And then there's a loving relationship between mother and child and that energy of nurturing, um, nurturing an aspect of yourself or something happening in your life this week, Aries. You have some beautiful cards and energies around you this week. I hope this reading has been helpful for you in some small way. If you have enjoyed the reading, you can click the like button, subscribe if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. So have a fantastic week, Aries, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.